Dr. Frank Lieberman is one of four people in the world that have completed the 100-mile Tevis Endurance Ride, the 100-mile Western States Run, and the Swanton Pacific 100-mile Ride and Tie. The Tevis and the Swanton Pacific 100-milers have a 24-hour cutoff, while the Western States has a 30-hour time limit. These three events take place in Northern California in the Sierras and Santa Cruz Mountains. By the way, Frank is the only person to have completed these three events while in his 60s. I'm Frank, 71 years young, the oldest out of three siblings, married with children and grandchildren. Before I discovered Ride and Tie, I was a workaholic. I traveled a lot, purchased new Harley Davidson motorcycles. Still, I was unhappy, unfulfilled, and headed for divorce. Thank goodness for Ride and Tie, since I had a chance for a do-over. My transformation began. I accomplished my Tevis goal in 2000 at the youthful age of 60. Now it's 2002 and I'm only 62 years young. I have 30 hours to run 100.2 miles in order to earn that coveted Western States buckle. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. It's dark. It's cold. Today I have to run up to Watson's Monument, which is almost 9,000 feet of elevation. In all, I will have run up 18,000 linear feet and run downhill 23,000 linear feet. Talk about the ups and downs of life, I'm in it for today. In addition, I go from the cold, where there is snow, and then eventually into the canyons, where temperatures easily exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only that, I have to cross the strong current of the American River with its cold water approaching my chest, holding onto a cable, stumbling over sharp, slippery rocks. Of course, by this time, I'm running in the night with an LED attached so that I don't fall. During this event, my emotions range from happy, excited, to feeling hot, tired, and exhausted. The dilemma, do I go on or do I just quit because of how I feel? Just like in life, there is one constant, which is that our feelings constantly change and do not remain the same. So, we are confronted with making choices, regardless of how we feel. Hopefully, the beneficial ones are made in our best interest. Wow, I eventually reached the finish line in Auburn, 29 hours later. Thank you, Pacers. The book is about my journey, the uphills, the downhills, and it exemplifies my transformation. I share with you my experiences, my secrets, my insights for fulfilling a healthy and satisfying life. One of my secrets includes seven prescriptions for your benefit. Another secret is sharing the personal stories and achievements of the following seven. Doc Shea. Sammy Stanbro. These women are the Molokai to Oahu outrigger canoe paddlers. Russ Kernan. The Dipsy Legend, my first ride and tie partner. Jim Steer, the oldest to complete the Tevis ride. There he goes over Cougar Rock. Lou Hollander, who has completed 21 out of 21 Hawaiian Ironmans. Beverly Bentley, gold medal rower. Jack Scholl, patriot, rower, gentleman, a man of all seasons. Join us if you can and become a participant in the sports. If not these sports, find an activity of your own. Exercise is good for your mental and physical well-being. From personal experience, and as a psychologist, I recommend it. For your transformation, read the book.